What's going on guys, Phase Blue here, and welcome to an episode of Random Rants. Now, last time I did this I just had a face cam and it was just me talking for a little bit, but this time it's going to be a little bit of a live commentary. Now, I just had a thought on my mind and I just figured I'd talk about it for a little bit. That's going to be the basis of this series. I'm just going to do what I want to do, and you know, it's going to be a little bit less less serious of a video. And that's, I don't mean less serious as in like, you know, the stuff I'm talking about isn't serious. It's just like, I'm not going to, you know go and do cut comms if I mess up talking. I'm going to make this a live commentary because people people have been, you know, slacking on live commentaries lately. It, it's been, you know, drifting more towards the cut commentaries because they're easier to make. Like, if you ever used to make live commentaries, you know what I mean in that. Like, if you mess up, then you feel like you shouldn't use it and all that stuff. And it's just a lot of pressure because you have an audience looking at whatever you do, like, every single time you make a video. And, you know, cut comms are just taking the pressure out of it. Like, they're easier to make, they look better because, you know, you can get more stuff said because you cannot just, you don't have to talk, like, super quickly to get everything in the time period. It's just, it's just better. But live commentaries are good, too, because it shows who you are as a person and shows you can, like, talk. And, then, you know, it improves your speech skills if you can do live commentaries, I think. So I'm going to try to get better at them because, you know, I want to be better at speaking. I want to be better at public speaking, all that stuff, talking in videos, all that stuff, you know what I mean? I'm just going to say all that stuff a couple times. But... On to the topic of the live commentary, uh, I was thinking about the education system in general and like how stressed out teenagers are nowadays, but the reason I thought about that was, you know, I'm a junior in high school, I'm 16, and I've got a lot on my plate, like, you know, I do YouTube as a hobby, but in a way it's kind of like my job, like I probably spend more time on this than most people do their jobs as high schoolers. And that's kind of weird to think about, because I never wanted to get a job in high school, because I knew it would take away from my time doing school, take away from my social life, and take away from playing Xbox, when I used to just play Xbox for fun. And I still do play Xbox for fun, but like now, there's this added ex aspect of it, where you know I have an audience that I have to uh, you know, maintain, and I love to maintain, because I entertain people, and it's, it's fun. So, the stress aspect of it. Now, here's my schedule, okay? High schoolers are supposed to get eight hours of sleep. I probably get maybe four a night. And that's bad. Like, I don't even go to bed at 2 a.m. I just go to bed, and then I sit in bed for a while, like, trying to entertain myself. Because I don't have much time to, like, strictly entertain myself. Like, when I get home, here's what I do. I watch Netflix for a while. Just, you know, relieve the stress of the day. Watch The Office. I'm on, like, my sixth playthrough. And that's at about 2.30, you know, 3.00. I'm supposed to have a video out by 4, that's what I set out myself to do, but half the time I don't upload daily, like, I want to get back on that schedule, and I always say I do, because, you know, it'd be nice to have, but not everybody has the time in the day to do that, especially me, but I wake up at 6, I have school until 2, I'm in 4 AP classes, and I have, like, I'm supposed to have 3 hours of homework a day. Just, you know, that's what they told me. You know, that's what most people spend on it. But, you know, I do it relatively quickly because I'm efficient and everything. And what does that leave me? Uh, if you're supposed to have eight hours of sleep, eight hours of school, that's 16, 19, you know, with the homework, then that's five hours a day that you have to do whatever you want to do. Now, if I stream for three hours a day, which I have been doing every day lately, except for lat or yesterday because I wanted to take a break, then that's like two hours a day that I have to myself to do whatever I want to do. Now, that's a little bit of pressure, you know, because, I mean, I'm 16. I want to be able to spend time doing what I want to do, and streaming is fun to me. Like, I enjoy doing that. It's just me playing a video game, you know? It's not too big of a deal. But that's what that's when it comes down to the stress part of it. Like, if I don't do something every day, then it just bothers me. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of pressure on me to succeed from, like, everybody I mean, my parents don't pressure me at all, to be honest. Like, they used to, and it made me who I was today. Like, they, they created this work ethic that I'm super proud of, and I'm super, like, happy that I'm able to maintain. Because they used to be on me about my grades all the time, and I was in a gifted program for school, which is, like, they, they let me test into it, so I got high test grades, and then I ended up uh, becoming one of the people that was chosen to be in this program. And there were, like, a lot of people in the program still, but... You know, I went to a different middle school than the ones that all my friends went to. Primarily because I wanted to, like, you know, have have more challenging classes and all that. 
So, like, from a young age, I was pretty much guided towards, you know, being successful in a way. And I always thought it was, you know, something I was obligated to do. Now it's to the point where my parents trust me to do well in school. I have, like, a 4.4 GPA or something. I don't know. I take AP classes, and then I come home and do all this. And they don't... They've never told me to get off Xbox, because every time I've been on Xbox, I've had good grades. Like, that's one thing I want to tell you guys. If you were struggling with school, I would get that sorted first, you know what I mean? Like, school's a priority. Xbox is fun, you know. Even right now, if I'm getting paid for it, if it were my main job and I was still in school, school would be a pri priority. But, you know, that's, that's different. So, stress. It's... It weighs down on school a lot, or school students a lot, I don't know. Like, if you look at our generation to the previous generations, the stuff that we have to deal with is crazy compared to that. Like, in my opinion, just the fact that there are class ranks, like, you know, you can be, like, first in class, second in class, hundredth in class. That's a little demotivating to students, because, I mean, there are people who are going to try their hardest, and they can't get in the top 50... And then there are people who literally pride themselves on being in the top 10 or being valedictorian, and that's all they focus on. Like, that removes the aspect of being a kid. Like, we're kids, you know what I mean? Like, I'm 16, I'm not an adult, but the stuff I'm having to deal with is kind of, you know, stressful. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. I know most people like it because they're, like, competitive, and they, you know, can be like, oh my god, you know, I'm slipping, let me, let me get back on track. But I mean... What's the difference if you're going to a college, like, a good college compared to a great college? Like, I know it's, it's, like, the prestige of the thing, but, I mean, I'm happy just getting an education, you know what I mean? Like, that's more than most people can say for themselves. Like, why, why remove your ability to have fun and enjoy yourself while you can to, like, ensure that, you know, you have that certain opportunity? Like, I don't know. Obviously, have good grades, do all that, but do other stuff, too. Like, that's that's one thing I haven't done, been doing too much. Like, I sit inside all day and play Xbox after I sit inside all day at school. And then I don't even, like, focus too much on my social life. Like, I want to travel. I want to have, you know, friends. I want to hang out with my friends a lot. I'm going to focus on that a bit more. But I need to get all my stuff in, like, track first. My freaking dog's barking. I'm about to go break its neck real quick. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's it's weird. Ooh. Quick scopes on points, boys. But like just considering how much the population has grown, like it makes sense that competition is, you know, increasing in the school system because there's more people that the colleges have to choose from. Even though they're, you know, increasing in size every year, but, like, it's so competitive because everybody, not everybody back then went to college, if you think about it. Like, it wasn't the normal thing to do. Now it's, like, everybody and their mom goes to college. Not everybody and their mom, but, you know, it's, like, it's the main thing to do. And considering how many people do it, it's super competitive. So they, you know, have class ranks, they have GPAs, they have AP tests to, like, set aside the people who are not you know, as dedicated to doing it. And it's crazy. Like, they didn't have that stuff back when we were, or back when we were, back when my parents and back when your parents were in school. It just didn't happen. Like, they had the normal schools. They had, you know, they taught people stuff. Like, that's all it was. Like, you know, I mean, you went to college and, you know, you lived on with your lives. But, I mean, like, just in general, the concept of having to pick a major at 18 or whenever you pick a major, I don't know, but, like, deciding where you want to go to school, spending thousands and thousands of dollars to perfect, like, a skill or learn about something so that you can go into a profession. When you're 18, like, you decide what you want to do for the rest of your life when you're not even a fifth of the way through it if you say you're, like, you know, if you assume you're going to live to 100, I don't know if you can all assume that, you know, I'm probably going to die at, like, 35 from freaking, I don't know wrist problems from feeding too much but i don't know it just bothers me that like that's a thing like i don't want to be have to do the same thing for 60 years you know what i mean like that's the problem like that's why i don't want to be like a manual worker i don't want to do the typical job i want to use my skills to do something creative and you know have a positive impact on the world or i don't even know
Just just imagine I'm saying stuff that makes sense, but you know, there's so many people out there who have so much more to offer, but this same like, you know, mindset that you have to stick to one thing, like it sucks and it really does, but that's just the way it is cuz like if it weren't that way, then most people wouldn't be able to do it because they wouldn't work hard enough and wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't fit into the puzzle that is America or something. I don't know. I'm I'm not trying to sound super smart and super ahead of my time or something, but you know, I'm just I'm just ranting cuz that's what this is, you know. It's random ranting. But I hope you guys enjoy this little video. Uh be sure to like the video from today as well, the other video I uploaded. I don't know if you guys liked that or not. It was the uh February 2015 video. I'm going to be doing those every month too. But I'm gonna be doing more creative stuff with the cinematic, like filming and all that. I'm gonna be, you know, doing more, like narrating over it, talking about what I want to succeed and do every month, set goals for myself. You know what I mean? Like, it can it can be good, but it can also be bad. We'll see how it goes. But hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And by little, I mean it's long. You know, I made it longer than the last one, but that's what the point of ranting is. You know. So if you enjoyed this, you know, be sure to come and watch my streams, all that, because that is all I really do in my streams. I don't know if I already said this in the video because I had to do two takes because I recorded with the wrong mic the first time. But, you know, that's just what I do. Okay, everybody, have a nice day. I love you all. You're all the blueberries. You know, blueberries are nice. You're all juicy. You're all sweet, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs>